Hello everyone, my name is Anshka Goyal from Tesla Technologies and today we are going to discuss about the unsymmetrical banding and shear center apparatus. In this video, we are going to measure the deflection on vertical and horizontal axis both by changing the angle of field. So let's start with the experiment. So this is our unsymmetrical banding and shear center apparatus. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the behavior of cantilever under the symmetrical and the unsymmetrical loading conditions. So here we have these two ends. First is one end where we can clamp this beam and the second one is the free end where we can apply the load from this section. And for measuring the deflection by changing the angle of this beam, we can have two gauges. First is horizontal gauge and the second one is the vertical gauge. And for these two gauges, we have individually magnetic stand. Here we have two options on and the off. So when you switch this rotator to off condition, then you can separate it horizontal axis or this stand from the apparatus. And when you rotate this rotator from off to on condition, then you cannot separate it from apparatus because the magnetic laser is designed now. Similarly, we can do it for the vertical gauge also by Switching it to off condition, you can separate it from apparatus and by switching it to on condition, you can separate it from apparatus. So this is the one setting of this vertical gauges and the horizontal gauges and the second one rotator is designed to you is the here for adjusting the position of this horizontal gauge and the vertical gauge. So by rotating this rotator likewise, you can adjust the you can adjust the position of horizontal cords like this so it will make sure it will touch to it should be touched to the this beam for giving the deflection readings similarly we can rotate it also for this vertical cord and by rotating it we can adjust the position of this vertical cord as well so it will also ensure to touch it with the B for giving the reflection readings. So here we have two settings. First is the on and off setting for separated from the apparatus in both the gauges, and the second one is the rotator, which is designed to you for adjusting the position of these vertical gauge as well as the horizontal gauge from this beam section. So when this will be touched to beam section, then it will get to the reading of the deflection. And when it will not touch with this beam section, then it will not give to you the readings. So now this is the beam which we are using for getting the deflection readings. Here we have three beams which are given to you or which are provided to you along with the separators in which one by one we can change the beam from here and we can take the reading from these gauges. So this is the L-shaped beam. So this is the L-shaped beam and from this rotating section and from this rotating section, you can move the beam from 0 degree to 360 degree. We can change the angle of this beam from 0 degree to 360 degree. So by changing the angle, we can take the readings of deflection from these gauges. And by removing these screw, you can remove the beam and replace with the another beams. So we have three beams. This is one the L shape and this beam is the U shape beam. And the third one beam is the square beam. So all these three beams are made up with aluminium material which having a length of 650 mm. And we have a graduation of degrees from 0 to 360 degrees. Over this, we can change the angle of beam. So by rotating this, you can change the angle of this beam. So this is the rotating by for adjusting the angle of this beam. From this rotating section, you can adjust the position of this horizontal gauge. From this rotating section, you can adjust the position of this vertical gauge. From this section, you can apply the load and take the readings of deflection, which will be seen in the experiment when we perform. And this is the magnetic stand. When you will switch it to the off condition, then you can separate it from the apparatus 
and when it will switch to the on, then you can't separate it from apparatus because the magnetic behavior now will be the present. So this is the basic components working of this experiment. Now we will perform the experiment. How we will get the deflection from these bodies by changing the angle of B. So now we will perform the experiment on this apparatus. So basically this experiment allows the experimental investigation of the deflection observed by when a load is applied to unsymmetrical beams or bar as well as being able to access the location of the shear center of these beams. So firstly, so firstly we have to apply the different type of loads and by changing the angle we can take the readings from these vertical and the horizontal bodies. So here you can see that we have three type of loads which is given to me along with this kit. So the first one is the 100 gram. Here you can see it. The second one is the 50 gram. And the third one is the 500 gram. So by varying the loads, we can measure the deflection from these gorges. And this is the manual which is given to you along with this kit. So you can take the reference for this manual for getting more information. So here, this is the object introduction. So this is the formula where we can calculate the deflections. Here, this is the descriptions. All of these components of apparatus are written in this manual. And this is the experimental procedure. This is the experiment one. First, we have to uh, apply the load of this 100 gram. Then it will change to 500 gram. So all these the experiment are step by step mentioned in the manual. And by applying the different type of variables, then this is the table which is given to you. So by applying the different type of loads, you can take the reading it from horizontal deflection, from the horizontal gauge and the vertical deflection from the vertical gauge. So you can, when if you applied the load, then you will see that what is the behavior or what is the deflection on this horizontal gauge, then you can write it here. And what is the deflection on this vertical gauge, then you can write it here. So by filling this table, you can plot the graph load versus horizontal and the load versus vertical then we will see that what is the difference between uh, what is the difference we can see when we change the load or when we vary the load. Similarly we have this another table here in this when there is no load what is the deflection on this horizontal dial cost we can write it here and when we apply the 200 gram load then what is the deflection on this horizontal dial cost then you can write here and similarly when the deflection since vertical dial cost when there is no load, then what is the deflection occurs in the vertical dial gauge? Then you can write it here. Similarly, you can fill this table and plot the graph. So by varying the loads, you can take the different readings of deflection and fill the table and plot the graph. So one by one, I will change the load and will show to the deflection occurs in the horizontal gauge as well as in the vertical gauge. So when we apply this 100 gram load, then you can apply the 100 gram load from here Then you can see that the deflection occurs in the horizontal gauge as well as in the vertical gauge. Because it also touches the beam, it will also touch the beam. So when this point of beam will touch to this beam section, then, then both the gauges will show the reading of deflection. So when I remove this load and change the load from 100 gram to 500 gram, then you can see the variation of the deflections. Then you can see that the variation will be shown to you in the both the gauges. So here you can see that when we change the angle of this beam, then you can see that the deflection will be changed also in the horizontal gauge. And and there is no change in the vertical gauge because there is no contact with the beam and the vertical gauge. There is a gap which you can see here. So this is the point middle and this is the beam section. So there is no uh, contact there between each other. So there is a gap. That's why there is no deflection occurs in the vertical gauge. But there is a change occurs in the horizontal gauge because it will touch to the middle of this horizontal gauge. So by changing the angle of beam, you can change the deflection and you can rotate this beam from 0 degree to 360 degree. So for getting the deflection 
changes in the vertical gorge, we will firstly it will move to the green section and contact with each other. So by moving this rotator, we can adjust the position of this vertical gorge and can it touch to the beam section. Then you can see here when it will touch to the beam then it will show the deflection. So like this by changing the angle you can change the different type of deflection and you can take the reading of different type of deflection for the different type of roads which you will be applied. So for this you can fill the table and upload the graph and by this rotating section you can change the position of this vertical gauge and the horizontal gauge as well as. So this is the basic experiment of the unsymmetrical banding and shear center apparatus. So that's all the demonstration from my side. If you have any query related to this kit, you can contact to Tesla Technologies and for more information, you can go through the manual also. And you can find the link of our website in the description box. From there, you can visit it for related these products. And if you like this video, like, share and subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you.